Hello, everyone. This is Moses from Zathari Gardens. I'd like to show you something very quick here. Um, I've always had, let me back up. This is my uh, four in one uh, Babcock Peach Santa Rosa Plum right here, a Royal Apricot, and a Fantasia Nectarine. Every year I have a problem with the Fantasia Nectarine, and this has been here about six years almost. Every year that I have this Fantasia Nectarine, it uh, has never produced. It always has. It always struggles. Well, so I decided this year to prune heavily and clean it up a bit. Um, I'm pruning as a, right now. I'm pruning it out and cleaning it up. Um, and I noticed that I'm seeing ghosting. Like, you see how it's nice and the bark is nice and red, but when you go up here, it turns to a charcoal gray color. If you look close. You see the little holes? This thing was riddled with holes. So there was a borer in here of some, of some kind. And I sawed off a big branch from this area. I needed to saw it off anyways, because it was growing in a way I didn't want. And you see the graying up here? Do you see when you look straight right into the cut? You see the cambium layer, the yellow and the greenish right here? All that nice happy smile. And it's all gone here. So when, and then this the decaying material here, you see the decaying, that's when I knew there was a problem. Then I saw that this is totally dead right here. You see it just peels right off. Then I came over here, you just see it just peels right off and it's empty. There's no cambium layer left. So I'm going to clean it all up. You see that? Just dead wood. There's no green. So I'm going to clean it all up. I'm going to try to find the insect. I'm not really seeing anything now. You see how this can be a layer here? You see that? Nothing here? So something was eating from here all the way up to here. And then this whole branch here and there. And this branch all the way out. So I'm going to clean it all up. And I'll get back to you just in a moment. So basically after scraping it all off, I got to the inner stomach very easily. And like I said, I scraped it as much as I could to get it as much off till I got to a healthy cambium layer, the bright yellow green layer. Now I'm gonna let the sun, thank goodness the sun came out, it was foggy all day. I'm gonna let the sun come out, cure the cambium layer a little bit. Then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna paint it with interior, not exterior, interior, latex not oil based interior latex paint half that and half water mixture so 50 50 paint and water and then i'm gonna paint this you could you could paint it any color if you want to paint it brown to match but i like to paint it white so it reflects a little bit of the sunlight so that's how you fix the problem don't be afraid get a tool like this as well just to scrape it right off uh, don't be afraid. These are here to help you and uh, obviously I didn't take care of this or I didn't notice this um, Issue in the years past because obviously the insect is not here any longer and the damage has been done a while ago, so And I'm going through the rest of the tree scraping here and there to see if I find any more spots So like I said you want to paint it over um, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to let it cure like I said, so um, I'm going to end the video here so 50% interior latex paint and 50% water and just paint it all over and um, even here, which I usually don't paint these things, but just paint everything and that'll help protect it from uh, insects trying to eat, eat through. They don't, insects don't like to eat through paint. Alrighty one, happy gardening, bye. Okay, like, share, subscribe. And thanks for watching, everyone.